Hi, welcome to Sherry Patton Ceramics, and today we'll be making a female lion. The male lion that I have back here is actually started out as a female lion, and I just took the, uh, the demo that I liked the least and added some clay on the side, and, you know, we have what looks like a, a male lion. So that's how easy it is to do that. The main part is getting the face right uh, before you add the mane. And so to begin with the female lion is just perfect. Uh, so to do the, the female lion, uh, we're going to look at this drawing that I made here. And this is about the size that we're looking at right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead to make this. You begin with about a pound of clay. So here's a pound of clay. And I'm going to take off about a third of that. So I'm just going to rip it off, and that's going to be the nose, the snout area, I should say. And now with that, that other part, the large part, you're going to just roll that into a ball. Roll that into a sphere. So I'm just rolling that around. Looking for the best side to make the face. I just push that down so it doesn't roll around. And now I'm going to take about, well, let's just go ahead and roll this last piece till it's about a little bit longer, or no, make it about the same size as far as the length here. And then you're going to cut off about a third of that. And that is going to be the snout. So I'm just cutting that off. You can see how large it is in my hand. And then you're going to place that at the front. Uh, use some slip, dip it in some slip. It makes it easier to put it together and it makes it blend easier if you put some slip. It does make it a little messier, but in the end, it, it works out better. It's a much nicer uh, combining of the clay. Okay. I better go faster. I just uh, I tried this the first time and I went over what I wanted to go. Okay, so here we go. And now we're going to look at the example here and you can see that this part looks good this part needs to be smoothed in a bit more and this part you can see that this is this goes out here a bit but not as much as mine so I'm just going to take my hand and push it down a bit until it matches more what I have here so that's about right now I'm going to look at it from the front and see if I like it. Looks to be pretty good. So now I'm going to look at that nose area. And there's, an, there's a line right here. And that line is created because the clay is out farthest right here. And then if you put your fingers here, you can see how there's a line going from here all the way up along the top of the eye. Kind of like people with your nose up to your eyebrows, right? So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to make it so that there's maybe a finger space, not a thumb space, but a finger space here. And then I'm just going to push here. Now I'm not using the ends of my fingers. A lot of my students want to do that. I'm using a flat finger here to make that, that divot. I want to leave a little head space up here. I don't want to go too far. And I want to make sure that I go all the way down to the ends of the, the end of the nose right here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make that eye area. There we go. So one little tiny piece of clay Roll it in your two fingers and put it down. 
if it looks like it's about the right size, then what you're going to do is you're going to take that one piece of clay and you're going to cut it with a paper clip or with a needle tool right down the center. And what that's going to do is it's going to make this beautiful shape of an almond. Because our eyes are the shape of an almond. They're not round. You're thinking about the pupils when you're thinking round. You want them to be almond shaped. And I'm going to put them right at the top of where I put my fingers when I made that indentation. Right, just about at the top, not completely. And I'm going to push them down just a little bit, not too much. Okay. I'm going to wipe off my fingers. I don't want that slip messing my stuff up. All right. So I'm going to get a little piece of clay, very, very tiny piece of clay, and I'm going to roll it in my palms. And I'm going to try to make the tiniest rope you can imagine. I'm going to even karate chop to get this part right here a little bit thinner, like the outward areas. Just do that right in my palm. Now I've got it. I'm going to dip it in some slip. Very important to dip it in the slip. It'll make it so much easier on you. And then I'm going to curve it around that almond shape. And I'm going to touch the top, all the, the, uh, the side, the top, and the other side of that eye. I want to put it in kind of a, uh, a curve over the top, kind of like a rainbow, but not so curvy. And then I'm going to dip it in the slip again. And I'm going along the bottom. Now the bottom eyelid is not as curvy has the top, like with people, we're that way too. And now I'm just going to roll this again a little bit thinner, dip it in the slip to make the top eyelid here. It makes it so much nicer when you dip it in the slip because then it doesn't crack all over the place. Let me try to lay it down which can be really frustrating. Rip it off. And dip this part in the slip. And add it right along the bottom. And break it off with my finger. And there we are. Give it a pupil. Don't, don't use your paper clip for that or needle tool. Use a pencil so that the glaze can go in. There we are. And now I'm going to look at it from the side again. Make sure all is well. Mm, that'll do. All right. So now we're going to make this triangular shape right here. And notice that it starts right below the top of the nose. I think I'll show you an example of that here again. So it's not going to begin on top. It's going to begin below the top. So there's a little area right here where that nose has not started. And it's a triangle. So right below the top here, I'm going to draw a little line. And I actually go past. You can see from the side here. You can see part of that triangle. Go down. Make sure that it's right in the center. Just like this. Down the center. And to the side. You want to stop a little bit past that nose area. Same thing here. Down and to the side. You want, you can put your little area for the little hairs that come out. All right, now I'm going to look at it. This nose is not far out enough. I'm going to put a little piece of clay there to add. Usually that happens when you press on the sides 
it can actually push in the whole thing. To make a triangle, I just squeeze and press on the top and then press the whole thing down and then I have a triangle. It's not a wide enough triangle, so I'm going to just press again with my fingers, widening it out. So two fingers and then the other finger and press. We dip it in slip and put it on. Now that nose is at far enough. Much better, much more three-dimensional. And I'm blending it. And I'm going to draw that line again. There we go. And across the top. Compare. Looks pretty good. And now I'm going to add those ears. The ears are kind of a rainbow shape, you can see there. So you just take a piece of clay and press it. If you want, you can even, you know, cut around your your thumb or something. I prefer to just use my fingers to make kind of a rainbow shape. If I bend those, those are the right size. So kind of a wide rainbow to begin with. Don't put them on until you have both of them made. Because then you know you're going to get the right size, right? They're both going to match. So I can just put one up to the other and then I can break off the extra pieces of clay and then I know that I have the right size. Okay, so now I'm going to score and slip. Oop. Looks like I tore off a little bit too much along that bottom. No biggie. Just go around again. That looks about right. And now I'm going to look at where they are. So it looks like they begin way past the eye. See this way? And notice that they aren't exactly on the top. They aren't exactly on the side. They're between both of them. So they should go about right back here. I'm checking this again. Then I'm going to score. I'm going to score on the other side. I can see where it needs to go. Make sure that you score well. And now I'm going to score on the bottom of these. I push them down with my fingers and score. And score where the other one's going to meet it. Dip it in slip. Oh, this is way too much slip. I'm going to go put these guys together. And put it on. Notice as I'm putting it on, I'm bending it. I'm putting my thumb in the middle and bending the sides around. And with the other, same thing. And I'm just going to blend that together. And there is your cute lion. Thank you so much.